Hello everybody and welcome to Lauren Loves Color. This is Lauren. I am here to share three new books um, for you. Two of these new are the newest releases by Color Questopia. One is a new release by Kira Shershneva. I have had an opportunity to color in two of these books. I have a special plan for this one. So um, let's go ahead and get started and um, I will give you some details about what I think. So we're going to start with Kira Shershneva. So she is the creator of this Color by Color series. Um, this is at least number one, two, three, four, five, maybe number six or seven um, in her Color by Color series, which she actually started this year. So she's been pumping out the books. This is her latest release. This is summer. She also has spring. So if I'm going to take a wild guess, I'm going to guess we're likely to have some sort of a fall or autumn um, theme book as well as a winter book. Um, she also has a tendency to release other subject matters um, kind of along the lines of these books as well. So this has become a really, really popular series. This one is one of my favorites and let me share with you why. This book was also so kindly sent to me by Kira for review so I want to thank her and provide that disclaimer as well. This is your color test page. Of course this is printed on Amazon paper. This is standard with all of her books in this color by color series. It's printed on Amazon paper but it is a nice premium quality glossy paper. Perfect for alcohol markers if you are an alcohol marker lover. Not so perfect for colored pencils. So just keep that in mind when you want to use this book. Now she has all of the, the entire color palette listed on the left hand side for the colors that you're going to need for the image. So you'll see that the colors that are missing are the colors that are not needed for the image you're going to color on the right hand side, which is a nice touch, as well as her color palette is consistent from book to book. She's kept that consistent in this summer book as well, which is really fantastic. Um, she has a variety of um, uh, portrait and um, the uh, horizontal, I don't know why I can never remember the name of it, um, or oriented types of images here and all of these align with summer. What I really like about this book in comparison to some of the other books is she seems to have, I like the larger spaces to color. Um, she has another book that's like a Tetris um, book that has smaller spaces. I enjoy the larger spaces, spaces and I feel like she has a nice variety of images in here. Of course, there's a lot of flowers and butterflies and things like that, but she also has mixed it up a little bit. So for example, this page here, this is really showing, um, and I'm realizing the glare is really, really bad. So let me dim that down a little bit. This is like a citrus page, um, which is really nice. It's kind of mixing it up. I love coloring food and things like that, which is really fun. Um, and I like the variety of um, different colors and um, styles that she uses in here. Um, this cow also kind of just appealed to me. She uses seems to use a lot more of this kind of circular style, which I feel is a little bit different than what I've seen um, in some of her other books. Maybe that's just me, but I feel like I I'm seeing that a little bit more in these books, which is nice. Um, some nice scrapes. She has some nice um, scenes, kind of typical summer scenes and stuff. So really beautiful book. Um, I really enjoy this series of books. I know some people have a hard time matching the colors. Um, I haven't had a problem with that, especially since I finished. She has a mandala style book. Since I finished that book, I really don't have problems anymore um, with matching colors. I can see the colors pretty easily. She has a standard 20 images um, in this book, which is consistent with her other books. It's nice that she kind of has this, um, all of the horizontal images are grouped together. It makes it nice for flipping through. Again, another food page, a nice fun strawberry page. And then this page, this is so lovely. This is obviously a couple of hot air balloons and I love how this turned out. I thought this looked so colorful and fun. It was a perfect, to me, not quite typical summer scene that I would have thought of in my mind, but absolutely perfect for summer. Um, I guess we don't have a lot of hot air balloons um, here in the Houston area because it's freakishly hot where I live in the summer. Um, we see it more in spring, but I'm sure there's many, many places that do this all throughout the summer. Um, and I just thought the colors in here were absolutely stunning. Um, I thought she really did a great job at, um, at providing a nice color palette. Some nice little birdies here. Beautiful nautical scene with some boats. 
So yeah, I thought even these flowers were really nice and really beautiful. She does do a lot of florals um, in her book. She even has a stained glass flowers book that's more of a traditional color by number book as well that you should check out if you haven't seen before. If you want to do a Kira Shershneva book that's a little more kind of traditional color by number, maybe you are a little intimidated by the color by colors. Again, another nice little refreshing fruit scene. Um, also, she does have a website, Kira Coloring. It's www.kiracoloring.com. I will leave the information in the description box below. Go check that out. She does have some of her Color by Color series books there, as well as some of her older releases there that are free PDF downloads. And so if you want to just try it out, print it on a couple of pieces of cardstock or some printer paper and kind of test out what how you think you can do with the colors or whether or not you think you're going to like it, that's a great opportunity to take a look at her book before you actually purchase it. You can find this book also on Amazon. I think it's listed there for a very reasonable price considering the premium paper that she has and just the quality of image she provides. So fantastic book. Two thumbs up. Great job. I continue to love this color by color series and think it's just a phenomenal book by Kira. The next book here is the newest release by Color Questopia. Color Questopia also so kindly sent me this book in their highlight reel book for review. Um, so I appreciate them providing me an opportunity to review this book. Um, I made a little boo-boo and my boo-boo was is that I usually film a flip through for Instagram and before that I usually don't color in the book before I do that but I was so excited when I got this book that I went straight to coloring in it and when I was halfway into the image and was like oh I color a page. <laughs> Doesn't really matter, but um, yeah, I was really excited about this. Color Questopia also, I need to just ask Hazel, I think they're going to be doing more images in their books moving forward. Like that seems to be their new format. If you look at this guy, this guy is a heftier book um, in comparison to their other books. Color Questopia used to have a standard 20 pages included in all of their books. Um, they seem to have moved to a format to where it's 35 pages in their books now um, in kind of their standard books moving forward plus the bonus pages. Um, plus they usually offer for a limited time prior once their new book is released the book for $4.99 which is a fantastic price for a book that has 35 pages that's color by number, especially something that's as of high quality as Color Questopia. Um, I didn't show you a look on the back here. This is the standard color key that they have. It's 25 colors. Um, they have also, um, all of their recent books have this standard color key um, listed here to match your markers. Um, so yeah, so I think this is a great um, um, addition by Color Questopia. I'm gonna flip through these pages here so we can get to the actual images. This again is a large print. They kind of, they kind of um, label some of these as large print color by number, which to me just means they're less detailed um, and they can be a little bit easier to read. Now when I look at this page here I don't necessarily think this is large print or not detailed um, and you might shy away because you might think like oh there's going to be so many different colors that you use in here but you can see the color palette is still pretty simple and honestly and you'll see the page that I colored don't be intimidated by these books because there might be more detail going on, but the colors are pretty easy um, to color through. Like all of the background here is this 15 color and I can see that through the flowers. So once you color in that background, it actually makes it really easy to color the image um, moving forward. Uh, they do have this book available in two options, just like they have with the rest of their books, the black background version, which is what I have, or the white background version where you would fill in the lines um, kind of in between where you fill in the colors. And um, I have consistently gone with the black background version. I find that experience more relaxing. I don't have to worry about filling something else in in their books. Especially this one does have some detailed images in it. And so um, to fill in the line work for that would be a little bit overwhelming for me. Um, cute little squirrely guy. What I like about this book too, again, is similar to what I liked about some of their other large print books, which is it's a variety of different images. This one does feature a lot of people, but you'll see animals, you'll see um, like house and country scenes. So I always find that really interesting because it's like, hey, if I just want to pick up a book and color something about spring, I can pick this one up and I can color something that's animals, butter and insects and butterflies and flowers. 
or I can color a nice scene of a lady reading a book. This could this could potentially be from any time of year. It doesn't necessarily have to be spring, um, but it offers you a variety of different things, and so you don't really get bored in these books. Um, I guess is what I'm saying. I that's what I enjoy about some of these color questopia books, but especially these large print books. They just seem to be a, cul a culmination. Is that the right, right word? Is that even a word? Um, it's like a nice collection of different types of images, um, and so it kind of mixes it up a little bit. But this one does, I have noticed, features a lot of people, um, but I like the illustrations of some of the people. Some of the other ones that I saw kind of prior to this, the people looked a little funny, um, but I think they've made improvements over, over time. Like their mom book actually looks really nice too. Um, so another hot air balloon. But see, this one is spring. So, but hot air balloons, I think, can pretty much go year-round. But I'm also really interested in coloring this. There seems to be a lot of different colors of buildings and stuff. I think this would be an interesting scene um, to color. Some of the color Questopia books surprise you. You look at them and you're like, oh, that's probably going to be a little drab. But no, it's not. The colors end up being really bright. But yeah, when I talk about detail, again, this is like, to me, it looks like a super detailed page. But everything in here, this entire tree is number 23, which is pink. So all of this is pink. Um, yeah, there are some branches in here, number four, that's brown, but everything here is pink. So don't be too intimidated. Don't be worried about, you know, whether or not that's too detailed for you to do because you, you can do it. You can do it. It might look slightly intimidating at first, but I promise you, you can get through them. Um, yeah, some lady taking a, some pictures and some beautiful flower scenes. And then I did this guy, this cutie little kitty cat. Um, so I did this one. This one was pretty quick and simple. Um, again, had a lot of this kind of background detail, but it was just this dark green color. So once I colored that in, it actually made things a lot easier to color in the image itself. I did this just with my Copic markers, and I think I used some Cali Art markers here for some of the larger spaces. And um, I think it turned out really well. It's a standard color Questopia book, positive coloring experience. Um, yeah. Restaurant scenes, duckies. I think this is the cover image. Some puppy dogs. Windmills. This one kind of reminded me of my Emma. It looks like my baby girl. So I almost did this one. But I think this is actually a really nice um, human picture. Sometimes the eyes and stuff can look funny, but I think their illustrations on their people have gotten quite a bit better. This was a nice scene with the horse. And then this is such as some of the bonus pages. I'm going to flip through these really quickly. Flowers and Gardens. Um, this is an older book. There are cats and kittens um, that they've done now in a black background. This is a really cool book. Dream Big, Shine Bright, which has inspirational quotes on each of the pages. Their Mandela book, which is also extremely popular right now. Lots of people coloring in this book, which is fun. This is the Mother's Day one that I referenced. This is actually the picture that I colored. This is the one that I colored to the likeness of me and my daughter. Um, sweet and sentimental book. Um, custom color chart in the back. They give a couple of options there if you would like to test your colors um, in the book or make a custom chart. They have a nice color testing sheet to test some of your colors there. Please leave us a review on Amazon, a couple of additional just blank sheets of paper, and that is that. This is on just standard Amazon paper. There's nothing really special about this, um, like I said, other than it's just black background. So um, from a printing standpoint, there's nothing unique about the paper that's included in there. It's a standard Amazon paper. Um, again, and this one I think right now is still on sale for $4.99, probably not by the time I post this video. Um, but yeah, love, 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 love this book. Um, I think this is a great one and a must have from Color Questopia. I think it's great. Um, this one I'm a little bit late to, um, late to review and I have not colored in this book. I have some future plans for this book and so I decided not to color in it because I want to wait. Um, um, until those plans kind of come to fruition. So um, I'm going to leave this one uncolored for right now. But what this is, is this is a collection. It's 50 images from 50 of their books. I didn't quite realize how many books they had. 
<laughs> um, I knew that they had a ton, but I didn't think about 50. I mean, that's crazy. So they have a lot of their books on the back, um, some books on the front. They have their entire color palette. So if maybe you are newer to the coloring world, you might be used to seeing Color Quest be with the standard 25 color palette. But prior to that, their books actually had a different color palette for each book. Um, they then went to a standardized 50 color palette, which was here, and now they have condensed condensed it to 25 just because it's a lot of different colors. So what you will see is each of these pages does have a variation in the color palette that's listed. Um, this is the black background version. Again, I think they have a white background version of this book available. So this has 50 pages larger than the, um, um, larger than the, um, than the standard book that they sell. Um, it kind of explains a little bit about that, about the um, color palette being a little bit different as well. Um, you can see just some of their um, some of their information on social media, and then it gets into the book. This is really fun because a lot of these books, especially their older books, I do not own. So this is a really great way. Sun Life Drawing has a book like this too. If you want to, and I actually have it right here just so you can see. Um, Sun Life Drawing has a book that's kind of a compilation of a lot of different books of theirs. Such and such diva. Ooh also has a book like that, this best collection, 100 coloring pages that just came out this year. Um, so a lot of these publishers are doing books like this and it's a great way to sample the images from there or to determine if you're going to like a book. So you may have, and what's great about Color Questopia too, is they mentioned down here, it's in small print, but they do mention what book it came from. So if you color the page and you're like, wow, I had a really great experience coloring this type of image or this subject matter, you then know what book to go back and get. All of their books are available um, on Amazon. So you can buy them from there um, and just determine what you, um, what you think you might like. That's cute with his little tongue sticking out. Um, the other thing too is that they are going back. They used to have white background versions of all of their books. They're going back to their older books now and releasing black background versions. Well, in this book, they actually released early some of the images um, in their older books in the black background. So there are a few books that I've been waiting on in black background. I'm waiting on their llama's book. I want them to release the princess book. And I think the Penguin book are the books that I'm really waiting on for them to release in a black background version that I own. And so um, I'm hoping that those are released soon because those are some of my favorite books from them. And um, I've really been wanting a black background version. So lots of really fun images. And some this is kind of nice too because like this Corgi image, they have a whole book on Corgis. And while I love Corgis and I think they're cute, I may not want an entire book of it, but this gives me kind of a nice um, sample of it and just one image to color. So I really like it. I, I think they did a really, really good thing by releasing a book like this because I think especially for people too, maybe you don't want to own 50 coloring books or maybe you just can't you know when you're trying to budget you can invest just a little bit of money in this book and have a nice beautiful collection of color questopia books i mean honestly now it's like if anybody wants to buddy color anything out of any color questopia book i technically have at least one image um, from all of them and have the ability to do that so um yeah so really happy with this i think they did a really fantastic job um with it. I will say the images do look like cropped a little bit more. So if you look at, so let's say, so that's the, I know I have it. Where are you succulents? Okay. This is the cactus book. So this image here, you see how there's such a thick black border around it? Oh no, I lied. I was going to say, I thought that the images in the actual, nope, that's not the same image. Um, Let's check it out. So here's the image in the other book. Yeah, no, they're actually the same size. I was going to say, I thought maybe they cropped this down a little bit more, but they didn't. They're the exact same size. Disregard my hypothesis about the image size. That's good to know. They are still the same image. I guess I just never really realized how thick of a border that they have on their images here. This Gnomes book is really cute too. They just released that in black background. I think that's a really popular book. Um, 
from them. Oh, and Trains also just came out as well. Llamas, this one is a really detailed book. I've done quite a few images in the one that I own, but I can't wait for this to come out in um, black background because it will, it will incentivize me to color more in it. And um, the llamas are like super, super colorful. Um, so that's really fun. Also this mermaids book. I don't know if they have released the mythical mermaids one, but this is one I've always had my eye on as well. Um, at first when I saw this page, I will not lie, I thought it was upside down. I was like, oh no, it got printed upside down, but it did not. It's a sloth hanging upside down. This is one of their really, really simple ones. This is Backyard Bugs. This is, I think, really intended for younger children. Unicorn, which is one of my absolute favorite color Questopia books. I have that one. Same thing with the Chibi Girls. Also one of my favorites. Um, Significant Otter is really, really cute. Kind of in that same style as the Llama one. This one is Shark, apostrophe, no, exclamation point. Why do, <laughs> Why do I always say that? I say apostrophe when I mean exclamation point. Yeah, penguins. Here's another one that I'm waiting to come out in black background. I have the white outline version and you see how detailed the penguins are. And so um, I definitely want that one. This one is actually, this is the princess one. It's a little simpler, but I still would really appreciate it in the black background version. So I'm super excited for that. I'm also super excited for this pug in the backpack. I think that is way cute. I've seen some people complete this book and it's adorable. This is their witch fantasy book. This one I know is popular by a lot of people. This one is the Autumn Coloring Book. I almost got this one. The thing is, though, is I really dislike it when they had, they went through this phase last fall of listing all 50 colors. Um, and it wasn't just the colors on the page. They just listed all 50 colors on the left-hand side of the book. And I have one book like that, and I love that book. But gosh, I just hate having to search for all the colors for the page. I, I don't know. So maybe this camping book is kind of the same. It has really cute images, but has those all 50. Um, this is their fashion book. I wonder if this is in the order they came out with them. I don't know. I must inquire. This one is super detailed. This is their National Parks one. You see how much detail is in that? Oh my gosh, it's intense. This one as well, Fantasy Landscapes. Also super, super detailed. Yeah, this one is really cute. So this is Christmas Fantasy. This is the one that I own. Um, so I own a copy of this book um, in the black background version. I still just, the images just spoke to me too much to not own it. Um, this is just a regular Christmas book. Also, this one I really like. Do you see how this one, the images of the people look a little bit creepier. Um, I think they've done a little bit better in the books moving forward in some of their people images. Um, so I think they've made kind of an improvement there. But this book I also wanted to own, but I held back just because of the 50 colors. Same thing with this one. I love the illustrations in this book. This is their angels book. I think this was the very last book that came out before they changed their color palette. And gosh, I love the angels in this book, but couldn't do it. Large print color by number. My absolute, absolute favorite color Questopia book. If you don't own it, you should. I completed this book this year. This was just a super fun, easy and simple, very relaxing color by number book. Um, you Are Loved, which is great. That one came out around um, February. Color testing sheet. You will notice that this is the very first color Questopia book that I have gotten that does not have sample images from other books in the back, but that's because you're seeing 50 images. So you've got a couple t pages in the back to just test your, um, test your mediums. And that is that. So those are the books that I have for you these three. I brought those other ones out. So, um, trying to search for the right ones. Um, all three fantastic books. I mean, I can't recommend these publishers enough. Color Questopia, Kira Shirshneva, you really can't go wrong with them. It just really depends upon what your, 
um, what your flavor is, what it is that you're interested in coloring. And for me, sometimes I like to mix it up a little bit. The Color by Colors has been a big favorite for me this year. The Color Questopia is what I go to. It is my go-to um, um, book for color by number because it is so relaxing, um, so easy, and there's such a variety of different content that they release. As you can tell that you really can't go wrong. They're, you're going to find something that you like in one of their books. Um, if you haven't tried them out, get this highlight reel book. I will list everything down below in the description box for you in case you want to check it out on Amazon. Other than that, that's all that I have to say today. I will see you guys in my next video. Things are a little crazy for me with work right now. We're in the middle of moving and shuffling things around. So it may be a little while before you get a video from me, but know that I'm here, know that I'm thinking of you and I wish you well. I will see you again in my next video. Bye guys. Thank you.